Uh, verse 4, he that speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself, but he that prophesies edifies the church, the assembly. I would, I prefer, I desire, I wish, however you want to say it, that you all spoke with tongues. Okay? And this proves that Paul was Southern because <laughs> he says, y'all. I would that y'all spoke with tongues. There you go. And but rather, he said, I, 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 want, I want everybody to speak in tongues. But now notice too, he says, but rather that you prophesy. Why? Because tongues help you, but prophesying helps others. Paul said, I want you to walk in love. This is when, why, where he's talking about it here in 1 Corinthians 14. You look at 1 Corinthians 12, it's the gifts. 1 Corinthians 13 tells you how the gifts should operate through you in love. And 1 Corinthians 14 tells you how to function in the gifts and why that everything you do, if you're going to function in love, it's going to be about other people. So it just goes 12, 13, 14. You need to read all three chapters kind of together if you're going to go through them. He says, I, I would that you all spoke with tongues, but rather that you prophesied, for greater is he that prophesied than he that speak with tongues. And it's not talking about greater as a better person or anything like that. He's saying you're of more use in the church. You understand that? Now, for greater is he that prophesied than he that speak with tongues, except he interpret. So tongues and interpretation equals prophecy, Right? Why? But in, now, again, notice, he says, except he interpret. Why? So that the church may receive edifying. In other words, because you, when you speak in tongues, people don't get it. But when you interpret, now people can get it. And because you are speaking in tongues. Now, notice, too, uh, here, and especially in uh, 1 Corinthians 12, you can see it there real quick. If you, you don't have to turn there, but you can. 1 Corinthians 12. Yeah, there we go. But now notice there in verse 28, 1 Corinthians 12, 28. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles? The answer obviously is no. Now watch, he says, are all prophets? Again, no. Are all teachers? No. Now he's talking about in the church because he said that every believer is to make disciples. So every believer has to teach to make disciples. But every believer is not a teacher in the body of Christ, meaning in Ephesians 4, um, ministry gift, right? But then you also see the gift of teaching also over in uh, Romans chapter 12. He talks about it there too. So some people can have a gift in the church, but there's a difference here. So you have to differentiate what he's talking about, whether it's in the church, for the church, or in your personal life. Now, he wants every person to speak in tongues. Why? Because when you speak in tongues, you edify yourself. So that's personal. That's not for the body. But now, if you also desire spiritual gifts, and one of the gifts you desire is the gift of interpretation, then you can speak in other tongues and then interpret it and that equals prophecy because if it was going to edify you in private tongues, it'll edify the body when it comes out because what's good for one is good for all. Do you understand that? Now, Dr. Summerall, one of the things that he said about the gifts operating like this, he said, I knew whenever God put me in to pastor, and he said, I'm not a pastor, but God put me in to pastor. See, you can, you can pastor and not be a pastor, right? And that could be good or bad, okay? Some people are pastoring and they shouldn't be pastoring. And then some are pastors that pastor, and then there are some pastors that don't pastor, and there are some people that don't pastor. Just have to sort all that out, okay? <laughs> now, 